Peace and blessings, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. This is the second one of my little shoot videos where I just go on and talk a little bit. So it is currently, at the time of filming this, October 25th, uh, 2021 in New Jersey, very early in the morning, like about 10 a.m. You hear some of the crows out. You might hear some lawn mowers. Uh, it's a Sunday. I'm out with my kitty cat, uh, which she'll on and off be in the alleyway because this early she does tend to like hunting. Um, I wanted to talk a bit today about uh, the way you write and how that defines you and taking up those little moments and taking those moments to say, hey, you know, this is my time to write. I should schedule some time in, even with like a busy schedule, such as myself to get some writing time in and know that they could happen basically at any moment, right? So this morning uh, I went to the farmer's market before my wife woke up, before I decided to take uh, Cass out, which usually gets taken out in the afternoon. Um, between a couple of the other jobs and gigs I do throughout the week. But during the weekends, I like to kind of get out in the morning. As you can see, I'm in uh, like kind of like outside clothes, but also like my PJs. So I get to be comfy. It's starting to get colder. The leaves are starting to change. So being a, a city boy, I really do like the, the yard because I get to see the changing of the colors and, you know, I get all those poetry vibes, which is kind of nice. Um, it's good to fit in that time. So I'm out here. So I got my Gryffindor notebook, not affiliated with the Wizarding World or anything that JK Rowling has to say. I actually got this from a friend. Um, I really try to not pay into those things I don't support. So uh, even if I do like certain things, I try to get them secondhand, yada, yada, yada. Um, you'll see I'll insert a clip. I got my phone, which had some notes from the farmer's market this morning, uh, as well as a pencil. Um, I had a video before on like, if you, if people prefer to write with laptop or a notebook, I'll have that video right here. Um, and I mentioned that I was a laptop writer, but I started wanting to write more, um, on paper. Well, it's been a while since I did that video. And in fact, I kind of write on paper now more often than I write in a, a laptop. I actually do my first drafts on paper because a lot of times I'm trying to read, I'm trying to read and write outside um, or I'm on the run. So I'm typing something in my phone. Um, I kind of get a bit hotter in terms of writing um, and in terms of getting that inspiration with actually having that, that mental to, to hand to notebook kind of thing. So I, I have been liking writing. Um, I was doing pens for a while. I had some like wizard wand pens, which was really nice. Um, I had a couple mechanical pencils left over from a job I had uh, with Cabin Carry Press, which is my daytime job. Um, so I've been using mechanical pencils and it's taking me back to like before I used pens in grammar school uh, or middle school rather, where we just used to have pencils so we could erase things. And I remember that moment and I kind of liked going back into the idea of like mechanical pencils. So I don't know, mechanical pencils and notebooks have been my thing lately. Um, so that's what I mean in, in thinking of what defines you, right? Like think of what you're comfortable with in your writing practices and continue to do that. Experiment, switch it up sometimes if it's getting stale. Like this morning, I was, I was saying in the farmer's market, I got this idea, right? Uh, it was daytime, but the moon was out. So I was like, oh man, uh, I just had this line that said, um, as pleasant as a moon in day sky. Um, that's not correct syntax, right? But I like the idea of saying uh, as a moon in a day sky. It kind of sounded a bit like a Native American. I've been, I've been researching some Native American poets for my workshops that are gonna happen next year, which by the way, my 2022 workshops, this is, it's a small secret, are actually available. So if you go to my shop page, which I'll leave in the comment, um, right now, if you're watching this video in 2021, the two workshops are still available but I also put the workshops for next year that I'm actually gonna start pushing in November closer to Black Friday time and the holidays in order to gain a big class following. Um, it's super cool, it's a super safe space. Whether you're a new poet or whether you're a poet that's more experienced, I try to differentiate the classroom as an educator in a way that everyone gets something. Everyone walks away with a new poem, everyone walks away with a new perspective, and I try to teach us how to talk about our own work, which I think is really important. Uh, which is another thing that defines you too, like uh, learning how to talk about your own work. Like, uh, what what are you working on currently? For instance, uh, a, a moon in day sky uh, feels a bit more Native American. Um, I've been thinking more about my ancestral roots uh, as a Puerto Rican, thinking about, you know, um, West Africa, thinking about the Caribbean, thinking about our Taino people that, that are in the Caribbean islands. 
and seeing how that could encroach and enter into different spaces within my writing. So think about things that you're interested in and think about uh, how that creates your voice in your work. So let's see, poetry defining you. I talked about notebooks. I talked about taking notes, right? So that stuff happened to me. Uh, I got that line while I was at the farmer's market and I wrote it down on my phone pretty quick. I'll insert that clip again. I only come out here sometimes with, with my notebook and pencil, but sometimes I have my phone just in case. So cats are very territorial and cats was just having a stare down with that cat right over there. So I just had to take her inside. The cat is still over there because she was really, or he was really interested in what I had to say about what you need to be comfortable and what defines you as a writer when you're outside. So yeah, doing what's comfortable and doing what feels good is actually gonna help you develop that voice as a writer. Um, in the comments, tell me, catch me up on some of your writing. Uh, thank you so much for everyone that's been commenting and really having a dialogue with me uh, in these videos, especially the ones that enjoy these kind of short videos. Hopefully that lawnmower isn't too loud. So in the comment down below, tell me, uh, what's your writing style? So do you write during the day? Do you write at night? Do you have a certain time during the week that you like to write? Do you use pencils? Do you use pens? Do you have certain notebooks that really gets you motivated. Do you use a laptop? I'd love to hear from you. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get more videos just like this one that come in throughout the month. And also share this with another poetry friend you like. Let's grow this community. Think of all my resources at the bottom of this video as resources for you and resources to others. As always, I will see you all in the next class.